day I felt in my spirit that somebody needed to hear this, right? My message is stop stopping yourself, okay? Stop stopping yourself from the things that you know you need to do, the things that you know you need to accomplish, but it's that fear, it's that nagging fear fear that you are not good enough that's stopping you welcome to everybody joining the broadcast guys this is my third time trying to go live if you are watching this and you can see me and hear me clearly please drop some hearts right now and let me know i'm coming in clear if you can please drop some hearts and let me know i'm coming in clear um yeah stop letting fear keep you from doing those things that you know you need to do Eight years ago, y'all, I was at one of my lowest points in life. My cousin, who was my best friend, he was murdered. I was living alone. I was lonely. I was depressed. I did not feel fulfilled at all. The job that I had, I just felt like it wasn't for me. I felt like I wasn't being seen, recognized, and I was really just wondering what the point of life was, okay? Eight years ago, that was my reality. Now, it took me being at my lowest point to get to my highest point. It took me being at my lowest point to start going after those things that I feared, to start taking risk, okay? When we started our tax business, guys, I was not really confident about being an entrepreneur. I was even scared to be visible. I was scared to put on my social media like, look, I'm a tax professional, help. I was like, who is gonna want my help? How, how am I just gonna come out of nowhere and say I'm a tax professional and that people are supposed to trust me to do their taxes? How is this gonna happen? How is it gonna be possible? But I realized that if I didn't take any action, Hi, Melanie, how are you doing? If, if I'm coming in clear and you can see me and hear me okay, please drop some hearts and let me know. I just wanna make sure I'm coming in clear. I'm in my backyard and I wanna make sure that I'm coming in clear. But um, it was it was at that point that I started to, to take the initiative to do the things that I needed to do to actually level up in my life. So yeah, I was scared to put on Facebook that I was a tax professional. I was scared for people to know what I did. I was I was scared, what if I fail, all right? What if I put myself out there and nobody wanted to use my service? And then I did it, right? I felt the fear and I did it anyway. And guess what? I got over 100 clients. Most of those people did not know me. But because I kept showing up, because I was consistent, because I appeared confident. Thank you, Melanie. Thanks for letting me know. I started getting more and more clients, okay? The next step of that was building a team. Now, building a team was a whole nother issue. And Melanie that's joining us today, she's actually works in human resources. And so for me, Melanie, one of the hardest things about building a team was being a leader. At, at that time, I didn't even see myself as a leader. So I was wondering, how am I gonna employ people? They're gonna look up to me. If, if they don't feel like I'm a leader, how will they ever look up to me? How will I ever, um, how will I ever get people to follow me, basically? And this was a really, really, really big fear in my business. So, so real, in fact, that when I had interviews come up, I would just reschedule them because I didn't even want to have the interview with people because I was worried about what if they didn't see me as a leader? What if they, what if I wasn't good enough? Okay. And it really took me digging deep in that fear and saying, you know what? I'm going to show up. I'm going to, you know, smash these goals i'm going to go after it because if i don't do this there is no way i will ever get to where i want to be you know when you write down those big goals and then you're looking at it and it's so scary how would i ever accomplish these goals if i don't actually go off and do the things that scared me so then i just started doing the interviews i would i would put um, applications out everywhere and when people come in I would actually interview them and I would tell my story and you know what happened people gravitated to the authenticity all right they saw even if I wasn't perfect even if I wasn't you know this idea in my head of what an employer was people gravitated to the fact that I was real and that's when I started attracting more and more people to myself so now I'm not scared of being invisible, right? It doesn't matter if everybody is not attracted to what I'm doing. It doesn't matter if everybody doesn't see me the way I see myself. The only thing I can control is being real, being authentic, 
and being, right? Being the leader that I want. Leading myself first and then other people will follow. And so what I've learned is that we cannot stop ourselves, right? Before we ever even get started. How many times have we had goals that we never accomplished because we were too scared? How many times have we stopped doing the things that we wanted to do because we felt like people would look at us and judge us? How many times have we not invested in ourselves because we just felt like we weren't good enough? All right. I just wanted to have this message really quick because I know it's going to touch somebody. Whatever goal you have, whatever vision you have on your life, it is up to you to fulfill that vision. Nobody is going to do it for you. Okay. No you know, it's like, we're not special because we do it when we're entrepreneurs. We do it and that's what makes us special. Eight years ago, nobody would have cared, okay? Eight years ago, to me, I felt like nobody would have followed me. Nobody would have listened to me. And now I'm impacting hundreds of business owners because I took the steps, right? Because I chose to believe in myself. Because I felt the fear and did it anyway. And I'm telling you, if I can do this, if I can do it, I know that it's possible for every single person watching this. Melody says, the fact that you cared shows what a great manager you are. Thank you, Melanie. I really appreciate that. So um, basically, my point in saying this is because I know so many people who, who just quit, who just quit before they even get started. Hey, Aunt Louise, thanks for joining. I know so many people who quit before they even get started because they just feel like they don't want to be judged and they don't want to fail. Um, for those of us who are entrepreneurs, it's never going to be easy, right? It's never going to be a walk in the park. But the more that we continue to push forward, even when, you know, people are leaving bad reviews, even when people are lying on us, even when people are judging us, if you guys know the kind of things that I've been through in this business, you guys will probably cry for me. Because when it's like every time you're trying to get to another level, there's so many haters, there's so many people that just want to see you fail because they're like, who are you? You know, you ever had those people you grow up with? your classmates or whatever, the, the same people that initially you might have cared, like, I don't want to post this because I don't want this person to see me and judge me. When you really don't care about them, the only thing that you care about is that somebody is not talking about you, somebody's not hating on you. Okay, it has to be a point where we just stop caring what people say about us. Do you guys feel me on that? If you do, drop some hearts right now and let me know. We have to get to that point where we stop caring what other people think about us, what other people say about us, and just keep living our lives. Louise, she has a beautiful testimony. She was in a situation where she wasn't happy, but she took back the reins on her life, right? And she kept pressing forward despite what people thought about her, despite how people felt about her. She kept pushing forward. And I admire that in everybody that I see who, do who does that. And that's what caused me to start you know, being authentic and being transparent and putting myself out there and showing people who I am and what I believe. And even if it's not 100% perfect, even if what my best looks differently every day, I'm still going to show up because I know what my vision is for my life. And I know if God is for me, then nobody can be against me. So I just want to tell you and inspire you today, stop stopping yourself. Believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, if you speak greatness into yourself, if you visualize the best possible future, there is no way that you will not accomplish your goals. And if I can do it, if I can get to this level to where I have more freedom, more time, more money, more happiness than I've ever had before, it is definitely possible for you. Uh, Mary Lulu, favored by God, says this is so true. I know. I know it's just a beautiful testimony guys so thank you for being with me I hope I encourage and I inspired somebody today stop stopping yourself whatever it is that you want to do if it's starting that YouTube channel if it's getting comfortable with video if it's starting that business if it's going after love whatever it is for you stop stopping yourself and just go after it because at the end of our lives what we're gonna remember is the big adventures that we had the big risk that we took is not going to be because we slipped and fell a couple times. 
So thank you guys for joining me and watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful day wherever you're joining me from. And I wish you guys nothing but love and greatness on your journey. So take care, guys. Peace and blessings.